So welcome back everyone. So finally, we got a snowfall. Not enough to use the snow blower. We got about two inches. Uh, everything's white. It's just beautiful. So today, later on today, we'll be doing uh, a Christmas video of getting the Christmas tree and the decorations and all that. So uh, we'll shoot, the whole family will go out and we'll shoot that. But today's video, I want to uh, point your attention to something that um, uh, I think that you're really going to enjoy. One of my favorite YouTube channels uh, that I, when I op get up in the morning and I open up my subscription box is um, uh, Pure Life for Living. If you guys don't subscribe to their channel, they are uh, building a really beautiful timber framed home uh, up north of here. And they have just uploaded, <clears throat> excuse me, I think yesterday they put together, it's kind of a mini movie of the of all the culmination of all of that work of they're milling their own timbers, cutting all their own joinery, and they're doing the they're 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 putting the frame together. Uh, it's just a beautiful video. They put a lot of time and effort into it. They reached out to me and said, hey, we, we put a lot of time into this. I think that maybe your subscribers might enjoy it. We kind of are doing the same thing. Uh, so I want to point you into that direction. So I'll put a link down in the subject heading to this, but do take a moment and go over there and check that out. I think you'll really enjoy it. It is it's incredible the obstacles that this family's overcome. Um, I have talked to them personally on the phone, big supporters of their channel, and I really uh, am proud of what they've been able to do. So uh, if you're looking for something that you to watch that you really enjoy, uh, I want to send you over for that. <clears throat> so in addition to the Christmas video, I thought, how long has it been since we've done a man Manly Manners? What's it been, six months or so? So Manly Manners is a little book written in 1913 uh, called Don'ts for Husbands. Uh, if you're new to the channel, and, and I used to read from this all the time, I haven't for a while, uh, but what our custom has been is we just randomly open it up and see what manly manners <laughs> we can <laughs> benefit from today. So let's do that. Let's go to the back. We'll flip towards the back here, and I'll just pick one randomly. All right, manly manners says on page 52, don't rush off on a continental tour and come back worn out to be nursed up by your wife. That sort of holiday is worse than useless. Go abroad if you like, but don't spend all your time rushing from place to place sightseeing. Well, I don't know, be being that most of us are not inter international men of mystery, I don't know that that really applies to us. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Don't growl every time your wife invites anyone to the house. It takes quite half her pleasure away to know that you think it's a nuisance having people about. It's bad for you too. Nothing is more insidious and more aging than the hermit habit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that's so funny. You know, my uh, Mrs. W, my wife, is she's very social. She likes to be around people. She has multiple groups of ladies. They meet for book club and they meet for homeschooling stuff and they do all, all of this. And when I do find myself, uh, it kind of the older I get, embracing that that hermit habit, as uh, <laughs> as Manly Manners puts it. Um, I, uh, that's a good lesson to me. So you know, it's oftentimes, you know, I'm, I'm so cruel to my wife sometimes because she'll she'll in passing she'll say, "Hey, I was thinking about having so and so over, and and you know maybe we could have dinner or we could do that." And and then, you know and in passing I'm like, "Oh yeah, that sounds that sounds great." But then the reality comes around, and you've been working all day, and you come in the house, and you're looking forward to a quiet evening with your family. Uh, just to be informed that uh, uh, so and so is coming over uh, with their four kids, uh, and then sometimes I, I I do get a little growly about, about about that, which is totally unfair because my wife has told me about it probably a week or two uh, in the future, in the future, in the past. <laughs> previously uh, and I agreed to it and then so when it happened it's not right for me to 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 have to be fussing and, and uh, annoyed at her about something that I agreed to uh, because what's important to me uh, is not necessarily what's important to her so and, and everything is about compromise so what I'm going to do what I'm going to take from this manly manners is that when she tells me that she'd like to have particular people over to make sure that I'm aware of that so I don't forget about it and it's not I don't feel like it's sprung upon me even though it wasn't um, and that I take it out on my family and, and I'm a little bit annoyed that I you know here's the thing is you know we think I was thinking about this yesterday I had a friend that came over um, and uh, in the past and needed some help with different things and I was busy working and I remember thinking I, I was annoyed inside. Of course, you know, I, I, I helped. I helped out. This was like a year ago. I helped out, and uh, it all turned out well. 
but I, when I was, but I was thinking at the time, I was a little bit resentful. I was thinking, here I have got all these things to do, and this person is is stealing my time. And you know, this wasn't a, really a conscious thought. It was just, it was just that's the that's the, that's the devil and and how he works on your mind, um, making you think, uh, taking something that's good by helping your neighbor or, or helping a friend and, and turning your mind, twisting your mind in a way that subconscious that it starts putting resentment in your heart and thinking that this person, my time, when you think the, the mistake is, here's what he sows in your heart. The mistake is, is that my time is all mine. It all belongs to me. And when someone else is requiring that from me, they're stealing from me. That, that's what he tells you. That's not the reality and that's not the way it should be, but that's what, what he what he'll sow in your heart and so I was I was thinking about that I think it kind of plays in today I was thinking about that recently to be careful and guard against that if someone just because you think you need to do something your time is not necessarily your own your time is here uh, to serve your family to serve your community to serve other people yes of course it, there's nothing wrong with having your own time to do your own things but let's not be jealous about it and let's not have resentment i'm speaking to myself i'm not preaching to anyone let's not be resentful when that man or neighbor or friend comes to your door in need um thinking that they're taking something from you it's not that's not the case it's your uh, it, it, it's it's how a good society it's how a good community it's how good friendships are built by um by giving those times um, and it will come back to you what what I what I have found whether it be time or money the more that you give especially when you give uh, when you give what you don't have um, the more it will come back to you so well that was a long way around the manly manners all right so uh, don't forget to uh, pure life for living I'll put a link in the I'll pin it to the top comment go over there and watch that I'll put it in the subject heading go over there and subscribe and, um, and, and tell them I said hi. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.